Joanna Gaines is showing off her husband, Chip Gaines' excellent chicken caretaking skills. The 44-year-old interior designer shared a video to her Instagram on Thursday of Chip feeding all of their feathered friends. Captioning the post, a man and his chickens, alongside a rooster emoji and a baby chick emoji. Joanna also shared a video sneaking up quietly on her 48-year-old Fixer Upper alum hubby, who was checking in on a baby chick. The couple are known for renovating other people's homes and their own in Crawford, Texas, which has been nicknamed the farmhouse. And it truly is with all their farm animals, including the chickens, 14 new baby goats, and more. In addition to their furry and feathered family members, Chip and Joanna also have five children, three boys, including four-year-old Crew, 14-year-old Duke, and 18-year-old Drake, plus two daughters, 13-year-old Emmy and 16-year-old Ella. The former HGTV stars met in 2001 and tied the knot in 2003. Access Hollywood chatted with the couple in July 2021 after they launched Magnolia Network, and they shared the key to making their marriage work. And Joanna shared a funny story about why she's never wanted an upgraded diamond engagement ring from Chip. This is why I watch everything y'all do. It's this dynamic that, that we love right here. I'm thinking about your 18th wedding anniversary, the five kids, all the success, all the fame that's come. Has there ever been a moment for the two of you where you thought you were going to throw in the towel or that you couldn't do it? I, we, we, I, one thing that I would say is our superpower is that Joe and I are not quitters. I mean, throwing in the towel is, is not something that honestly ever even comes to mind. And I would say that that happened pretty earlier, early in our relationship where we just thought it's interesting that divorce or leaving one another is not really an option for us. And so somehow that little, that little foundation has definitely served us well because things have definitely been challenging. We're not perfect and, and we have issues and trials and errors just like anybody. But, but I would say that it's funny when you say throwing in the towel in fairness, I would admit if we had considered that along the way, but, but relationally we're in it for, for forever. You know, it'll never not, this'll never be a gossip mag that we don't make it. That's how it ends. And I can kind of see the end of that story. And then when I think about difficult things that we've done, and I would say the, the real estate crisis of kind of like 2006, seven, eight, nine, 10, you know, it didn't hit Waco till a little bit later. So it's a little bit of an extended period that I'm referring to, but you know, that crisis, Joe and I had multiple opportunities to quit and throw in the towel. And that was just not in our, in our DNA. And so now I think we've taken that and realize that, you know, it's like you can't ever lose if you don't quit. And Joe and I keep showing up day after day. And sometimes it's right, sometimes it's not, but we, uh, but we keep putting one foot in front of the other. Joanna, tell me about the engagement ring when he tried to up it. He tried to give you a new one and what happened and why did you want to keep the old? Oh, sweet. Yeah, I love that. Um, he he it wanted is a, to- It is a crappy diamond. No, it's not. It's a, it's he a, had a smaller budget. Obviously, that was yeah. when we, you know, he, I, he had all whatever, these my businesses budget, that my, weren't making money. My at budget the time. was whatever I could borrow from my mother. <laughs> Basically, bless her heart, who was like, "Chip, I don't have any money either. You know, where am I going to no. get?" I was so, like, so "Somebody's got to come up with the money." Isn't the highest quality diamond, but like, I care. To me, it's the story of a guy working his butt off so I could get this ring. And so I don't even remember what year it was. He just said, "Hey, I want to upgrade your diamond to something that's." almost flawless, like this perfect diamond. That could be our beautiful anniversary kind of story. It was very fancy. And I said, don't touch my diamonds. This reminds me of just like for us, wow. we always go back and say, where did we start? What was the heart and the intention of that? And to me, this is where it started. It was Chip working his butt off for something that um, meant the world to him. And so I'd never want to change it. I think it should be more appropriately said, Chip working his butt off for something that was pretty crappy. <laughs> no, I love no. my diamond. Oh.